First thing to say is that a world is awash uh, with data uh, and readers and listeners uh, and viewers are not waiting for more data uh, or even for more facts uh, for that matter. Um, what we're seeing certainly in, in, in the research we do, we survey over 30,000 people every year about their news and newspaper consumption, um, as well as uh, lots and lots of focus groups. If people are becoming news grazers. Um, they really want to know uh, kind of a combination of what's going on and, and what's the story. And I think it's important to, to understand that uh, as you embark uh, on a career as a data journalist and uh, investigative uh, journalist. Um, I suppose the good news also is that the main news brands are still the most trusted. Uh, these, you've done some research on this, you've done uh, research on it on, on a daily basis. Uh, but these days, kind of the news brands also happen to include uh, Facebook and Google. And, and we see that a lot uh, when you ask people where they get the news from, uh, social media tends to come through uh, quite strongly. Um, here's a, a, a survey from Gallup that was published um, just a week before um, the US election. It shows the percent of citizens in the United States who trust the mass media, um, a great deal or, uh, or a fair amount. And what you see there is pretty well a collapse in that level of trust. Uh, so that in the most recent 2016 survey, was a third of US um, adults actually trust the mass media uh, a lot or a great deal. Um, and when you split it out, actually, as they do in Gallup's poll, by political orientation, among <coughs> Republicans, that number was 14%, and among Democrats it was 51%. So they weren't even operating in the same news world 